Hey guys, so I'm starting out with my skin and I'm using the model's own mattifying base primer. And then for foundation, I'm taking the EX1 Invisiwear foundation, which my little pump was a little bit blocked and it decided to spurt everywhere. But I'm just going to blend this out using a damp sponge. I haven't used this foundation in a very long time, but I really love it. It's lightweight and very thin, but really good coverage at the same time. Then to conceal and highlight, I'm taking Tarte Shape Tape in light sand, popping some under the eyes and then all down the center of the face, and then I'm just blending it all out using the same damp sponge. To set down the concealer, I'm taking the RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm using a Sigma F64 brush and just sort of pressing it into the skin. And I'm also setting my eyelids with this. And then for the rest of the face, I'm taking MAC Studio Fix Powder in C3 and I'm just pressing this all over the rest of the face. Then to contour, I'm taking my Inglot Freedom Powder in the shade 505, which is a cool toned contour shade. And I'm just using a Sigma F05 to carve out my cheekbones and then pop a bit around my hairline, my temples, the bottom of my jaw, under my bottom lip, and then down the sides of my nose. And then to bronze, I'm taking the shade 507, which is a much more warm bronzy shade. And I'm using the NYX 02 brush and I'm just kind of applying this messily just to give my whole face a bit of bronziness. And then for blush, I'm taking, I believe it's called 21, this color. And I'm just applying that to my cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm taking the Mecca Cosmetica Enlightened Trio palette. And I'm using the middle shade, which is the more yellowy toned one. And I'm just highlighting all of the high points of my face. Then to set everything down, I'm just taking some MAC Fix Plus in pink light. And then moving on to the eyes, we're going into the Makeup Geek Pumpkin Spice Palette. And I'm first taking this top left shade and I'm buffing this through the crease and underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm going into the shade Dreamsicle, which is actually one of my favorite colors from this palette. It doesn't look like much, but it is so beautiful. So I'm buffing this all the way through the crease and underneath the lower lash line as well. Then I'm taking the shade Coco Bear and I am using a Sigma E25 and I'm buffing this in the outer corner, really build, building it up in the outer V and then bringing it through the crease and then I pack it on in the inner corner of the eye to create kind of a halo eye effect. Then I'm taking the shade Cherry Cola and I'm just doing pretty much the exact same thing. So pressing it into the outer and inner corners and then using the rest of the product to buff it through the crease and then underneath that lower lash line. Then I'm just going back into Coco Bear on a Sigma E39. It's a little bit more precise and kind of like a domed blender. And I'm just adding a little bit more of that through the crease and then doing the same thing with Cherry Cola. But I am taking this in the outer corners and inner corners as well. Just really building up that intensity. And then I do just take a little bit more underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm taking Dreamsicle once again on my E40 brush and I'm just adding some more of that in the crease just to make sure I had that nice pinky peachy shade. Then I'm taking the color Curtain Call which is this beautiful foiled eyeshadow. It's like a deep burgundy and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just basically popping that in the middle of the lid and then under the lower lash line. And then I'm taking my E25 from Sigma once again and just blending things out and making sure everything was seamless and then just adding a little bit more in the center of the lid. Then I'm going in with my Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil and I'm tight lining and I'm also putting this in my waterline to make it nice and smoky. And then I'm going in with the Quick Flick in the 12mm and I finally I think got the hang of it. I mean I kind of stuffed up here a little bit but I think it's a lot better than my last attempt and I was much more happy once I had aimed the wings outwards more. 
For mascara, I'm taking the MAC Bold and Bad Lash Mascara. I'm just coating the upper lashes. And then I'm going in with Falsies from Glam by Manicare. These are the Coco Lashes and they are beautiful. I'm like obsessed with these lashes. To highlight the inner corners, I'm just picking up this shade from the Mecca Highlighter Palette and I'm just popping that into the inner corners. And then I'm taking the little mini end out of my MAC mascara and I'm coating my bottom lashes. It's like my favorite lower lash mascara ever. And then finally for lips, I am lining them using Rimmel Lip Liner in Addiction. This is one of my old favorites. It works every time. And then the lipstick is the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in the shade Colada, which is such a beautiful nude. And that completes the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.